I'll turn to Storm Track Weather with meteorologist Katie Frazier. Katie, what kind of weather should we be expecting if people are just now heading out? Is it a time to go into the pool? It is a time to go into the pool as we're still going to be in the 90s all the way through the 7 o'clock hour. After 7, we should get back down into the 80s. But boy, is it a warm day. And today, we've certainly seen temperatures above the average this time of year. We should be in the low 90s, so a few degrees above that today. What about winds? Tomorrow we're not expecting much, but we are expecting slightly stronger winds for Wednesday and Thursday, but even at that, they will only be breezy. Friday and Saturday, the winds will back off, and then Sunday we could have another breezy day across the borderland. Right now, our humidities are super low. We're talking extremely low. Anything less than 10% means we practically have no moisture in our atmosphere. When we add in the winds and we add in the hot temperatures as well, that's when we need to be aware of some fire weather concerns as well. So we need to be aware all all this week. So just avoid burning anything. I know a lot of us are getting the grills going this evening. So if you're doing grilling outside, you definitely want to have a bucket of water handy just in case a random wind comes up and it could blow some fire out and then it could cause something to catch on fire. So have a water bucket handy. Of course, keep your vehicles off of grass. If you're towing a trailer, make sure the chains aren't hanging and hitting the ground as well because that could spark as well. Now for your forecast highs tomorrow, look at how warm we're going to be across Doniana County. 95 for Anthony. Same thing down in Sunland Park. 93 up in Mesilla, Mesilla and 93 in White Sands as well. For El Paso County, it's going to be warm across the entire borderland. 95 for Fort Bliss and Horizon City. 96 down in Tornillo. And then for Hudspeth and Culverson County, we're looking at 95 for Dell City. 90 in Sierra Blanca. And 94 for Van Horn. Just a couple degrees away from 100 for tomorrow as well. As you can see, average 92. We will eventually cool down to below average temperatures for the start of June. So definitely looking forward to that. But if you do have to do anything outside, make sure you are working outdoors maybe early or later on. Drink plenty of water and make sure you wear loose or light colored clothing. U74 forecast sponsored by Mattress Room looks like this. Temperatures in the 90s for the next couple days. We'll cool down briefly for Thursday. We're also going to introduce a small chance of rain. Now, I don't think many of us will see any rain this week, but we do or we will be introducing moisture back into the borderland. So Thursday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday, you have a very small chance. All right.